Hello everybody, this is Victor Marta, Prague Czech Republic. I was asked by my colleague and friend Francesco to have a short video message for all of you on his upcoming Facebook event, the Industrial Heritage in the COVID-19 aftermath. So here I am. As Greta Thunberg would say, this is all wrong. I shouldn't even be here. I should be somewhere in the steel mill instead of sitting at home and chatting with my webcam. But this is how it is. The situation is the same for all of us. We are all sitting at homes in this strange lockdown caused by the coronavirus pandemic. And all we can do now is to chat. So, let's have a talk. For those who don't know me, and here's a short presentation of what I'm doing. I'm an industrial photographer who spent his last 12 years traveling around the world on his own expanses and documenting the world steel industry. I'm mainly interested in the process of steel making and steel shaping, therefore I'm visiting the active sites mostly. My main interest is in the coke plants, coal mines, rolling mills, foundries, forges, steelworks or ironworks. Those are part of my non-profit and highly non-profitable project, which is called the Beauty of Steel project. And it meant to show the beauty of world iron and steel industry and to capture this beautiful legacy for future generations. Until today, I have visited over 250 mills from all around the world and the numbers are still counting. This year I was planning to continue, but as all we can see, this is not gonna happen. So, in this upcoming video message, I would like to show you the biggest problem of these post-corona days and the impact of the world steel industry as view of it from the industrial heritage preservation. Let's talk about the big steel. The steel is something what forged the whole 20th century and formed our lives. Without the steel, the world would be completely different. This is how the European steel map looked in the early 20th century. Every dot represents one integrated plant. An integrated steel plant is a place where the raw materials are turned into steel by using the blast furnaces and converters. This is how the map looked after the Second World War. And this is the situation today. As we can clearly see, the steel industry is disappearing. The causes are different. There was the overcapacity of steel production, cheap Chinese imports, or political motivated desire for greener continents. And now let's move to the showcases. It is evident that the steel industry will change completely after this madness will be over. The European and American steel industry was on a downfall even before the pandemic and now things are getting even worse. This is Trieste in the northern part of Italy which was shut down in March 2020. This is how the blast furnace looked like and one of the very last tapping. Luckily enough I was allowed to visit the site just a few weeks before the closure. There is a view on the coke plant in Trieste which was shut down as well and the whole site will be demolished and transformed into something more efficient and green. Another coke plant in France, Cerimand, was shut down a few weeks ago as well. The shutdown was scheduled to 2023, however, as most of the workers got ill, there was literally no one to run the site and Arcel Metal current owner decided to shut it down even earlier. The coke from Serenmange was feeding the blast furnaces in Hayange and this is the picture from 2012 when the site was still running. Now it's cold and dead and a waste of demolition. In the southern part of France there is a huge integrated plant called Fossumer which is also owned by ArcelorMittal which just a few days ago announced to shut down or idle the second blast furnace as well. 
that will be probably the end of steel making in southern Nepal. And here is a satellite view on Dunkirk, a huge plant in the north, which is running now one blast furnace only, and the future is not really bright as well. This is a view on Taranto steel plant in Italy, the European largest steel mill, and once one of the most powerful one in the world. It is struggling as well. But let's move to the United States. Here we can see Gary Works, a legend of American steel making located in the um, northern part of Chicago. Now the blast furnaces are shutting down and most likely will be closed forever. Dearborn in Detroit was once part of the former Henry Ford Works, AK Steel Corporation, who owned the site, shut it down just recently. Here we can see the blast furnace line and a view on Duke Island, also in Detroit. United States Steel Corporation shut it down a few weeks ago as well. And another plant in the United States, also owned by the United States Steel Corporation, the Granite City. Granite City was shut down recently and USS is not planning to put it back to production any soon. Now let's move to Romania, to coal industry, in very short. This is mine Parosheni, which was shut down already, but local artists and architects were trying to protect it as a masterpiece of brutalistic industrial architecture. However, local authorities took a chance of quarantine and lockdown and tore the site completely just recently. And further west in the Valley of Jew was a mine of Urikami, which was demolished. Yeah few weeks ago as well. The steel industry is a fascinating world of dark rumbling factories. However, I'm afraid, our generation could be one of the very last ones to experience it. The global downfall of industry, plus the consequences caused by the COVID-19 pandemic will only accelerate it. And our duty is to leave a proper visual and documentary record of this wonderful world. A world our ancestors and fathers built for us. We are at the edge of new challenges. This is not only a challenge for the steel makers, steel companies, but also for us, for photographers, or for you, the professionals on the field of industrial heritage and conservation. I would like to appeal to all industrial companies to start an open dialogue with the professionals involved in the industrial heritage preservation and to start letting photographers in. There is no time to act secretively anymore. This is a transformation time and it's our duty to not let this world go so easily. The steel industry deserves not to be forgotten. Please keep on mind of it. Thank you for watching.